Hello everyone, my name is Mark and I'm responsible for game design here at Critical Studio. And today I'm going to tell you a few things you should know about our upcoming game Dungeonland. So we're designing Dungeonland primarily as a cooperative experience. So we look at the three heroes as if they made a single character. And you can be the hero by yourself, you are going to need something, you are going to need help. You need help in the form of maybe healing, maybe someone to defend you, maybe someone to support you and make you stronger. Uh, abilities such as a Ray of Awesome play a huge role. And if you don't do that, if you don't learn how to work as a team and combine your skills, you are going to die a horrible death. Actually, expect to die a lot either way, because Dungeon Land is hard. It's designed to be hard. So the way that we do the monsters, the way we do encounters, uh, we force you to learn your character. We force you to learn your friends' characters, to learn how they combine together. So we want you and your friends to sit down to play Dungeon Land and feel like you have accomplished something together, that you have overcome a challenge together. So Dungeon Land is not a linear story-based game. Actually, uh, we don't have a beginning, a middle, and end. We don't have quests. We don't have anything like that, really. Uh, we just have these big theme park areas that we call dungeons. And you can play those in any order you want, as many times you want. Uh, and we have a Dungeon Master AI that is going to randomize monsters, treasure, and things like that to keep it different every time. And we're also going to have a competitive mode in Dungeon Land called Dungeon Master Mode. Uh, and in this mode, you have a fourth player that takes the role of the evil overlord Dungeon Master as he tries to kill the hero, so you can cast spells, place monsters, traps, you can even play as the boss as you try to kill the heroes and pretty much be a big jerk. We're going to review more details on Dungeon Master Mode in the following months, so stay tuned and ask us anything over at Twitter, Facebook and the Paradox forums. So thank you and see you next time.